Hi guys, my name is Sosmela, and this video here is about do you need some big and expensive equipment to start filming and editing your videos for YouTube? And the quick answer for that is no, you don't. So, for instance, right now I am filming this video here on my phone, and the only light I have other than that desk lamp there is natural light since I have a big window right beside me, and that's it. So no big softbox or anything. The only other thing that I have right now that I'm using is I have a small shotgun mic connected to my phone and I will also be editing the video on my phone as well. And yeah, I know I don't have a lot of um, viewers on my videos, but that doesn't really matter. I still have my opinion and hopefully you can get something out of that. But when it comes to your videos, I will say one of the most important things you can actually get is a microphone. Because audio is really important. Because a lot of times, if you have a video with really great pictures, but terrible audio, then your audience will click away from that video much faster than they will do if it is a video with terrible image but great audio. So for instance, as I said, right now I'm using a shotgun mic on my phone. So right now you can hear how that sounds. But now I use the microphone from my phone. And you can hear the audio is really different. It is lower and it isn't that great than if you are using this one here, which is a, in my case, it's a Godex Genius mic, which is a USB C microphone. And yeah, one other really good thing with using a microphone is you have more control over your sound that way. That when you use the microphone on your phone, it is omnidirectional, so you will get sound from all around the phone. But with a shotgun mic, it will pick up the sound from in front of the microphone so all the other noise will not be that big and also it is better when it comes to wind noise at least when you have a dead cat on like this which is really massive but this here will help a lot with wind noise if you are looking outside but there are many different types of microphones so for instance I had that but I also have one here which is able to connect to a camera and you do need an um, adapter to connect it to your phone and one other thing I will say that are really important when it comes to your video other than your audio is getting a tripod and it doesn't really matter if it is a big expensive one or a cheap one as long as it is sturdy and it can hold the weight of what equipment you are using and it doesn't really matter if it is a big tripod or a small table tripod like this one it could be whatever it you want but having a tripod will make it a lot easier since you can do film like i'm doing right now and you are sure that your phone will not fall but yeah you could just do it vlogging style and hold your phone. It's all up to you. But I will definitely recommend getting a tripod. And other than that, if you are using a camera of some sort, like um, a mirrorless or DSLR, I will definitely recommend you to get an ND filter. And it doesn't really matter if it is uh, available or not. And yeah, what an ND filter is, is Basically, it is sunglasses for your camera. So for instance, I have one here that I'm using with my mirrorless. And as you can see, it's a available one. So if I'm turning it, it's getting darker. And what that do, what that does, that was right, is it makes the image darker without changing any of the settings on your camera. 
But yeah, when it comes to editing, you can get a lot of different apps for your phone to edit on. In my case, I'm using a Kino Master. I think that is the right name and right pronunciations. To be honest, I'm not quite sure because of my dyslexia. But anyways, that is a paid app. You do need to pay a monthly subscription, but it is around $5. And for that, you get a library of relatively music and sound effects and different effects and um, transitions. So it is a really great app and you can film, not film, edit whatever you want, basically. You can edit just like this or you could edit them um, with a green screen if you want to. So that app has a lot of possibilities and I really actually like using that. Of course, there are some things you can't do in that app or basically in any phone video editing apps. So for instance, you can't really split your audio in that way that if you have the right and left channel, you can mix them and switch between which channel they are, but you can't edit them separately. So for instance, you can't turn off the volume from the left channel and then only use the right. That isn't available, unfortunately. Let's just quickly go through all the things that I just said. So, you don't need a big expensive camera. You can just use your phone, then get a microphone to make the audio better and a tripod. That's it. And then you can edit it on your phone or whatever editing program you're using. It doesn't ma really matter which one. And then the only other thing you actually need when it comes to videos is, of course, something to film. And that's it. So you don't have an excuse to not start filming a YouTube video if you want to. So if you really want to film a video, then pick up your phone and start filming. So you don't have the excuse that, oh, I don't have the right camera equipment because that doesn't really fucking matter. So yeah, the only thing I have left to say guys is goodbye. Hi guys, my name is Sos Miller and this video here is about do you really need something, not something, nah. Hi guys, my name is Sos Miller and this video here is about do you really need a really big, nope. Mm. So one of the great thing with having a shotgun mic is the microphone will pick up the sound from in front of the phone not from the phone, in front of the microphone. And there are a lot of different types of... Yep. And there are a lot of different types of microphones. Let's just quickly do a re... I was about to say re-crap. That is definitely wrong. Re-crap, not crap. Let's just quickly go through all the things that I just said.